Hey guys, Ash here, what's up? Now we all know Huawei makes great hardware. No, no questions there. But the elephant in the room has been software. Ever since the Mate Access 2 video, the one I did, I've had people ask me what's the deal with the apps, how easy, easy is it to get access to commonly used apps, what's available, what's not, and so on. So today, let's address that. Today, let's first start with what first party apps are available as part as HMS or Huawei Mobile Services. There are two very important ones here, App Gallery and Pedal Search. Between these two, you get access to a whole lot of apps. Now, all these apps that you see in this video, I got, I got it from these two. But we are kind of getting ahead of ourselves. Let's put a pin on App Gallery and Pedal Search and get back to them in a minute. Now, barring these, we also get other first party apps like Huawei Video, Game Center, their own browser and Pedal Maps. These are all pretty self-explanatory what you'd see from any brand, nothing to write home about. They work as expected. Now, a quick note on Petal Maps. I am not sure how good it is, uh, how good it works in other countries with regards to accuracy, but here in the UAE, the few times I tested it out out of curiosity, it's been quite accurate for me. In fact, there's this thing it does. Uh, I think they call it... I think they call it dynamic lane level guidance. It lets drivers switch lanes in advance depending on the route you have planned. That's actually been a little unique. Okay, now let's get back to those two important ones. App Gallery, this is Huawei's own app store. It's supposed to be the third largest app marketplace currently, and you can search and install almost all popular apps that you need. In case there is something that you want isn't available, say for example, you're not fully sold on Petal Maps and you still want Google Maps, of course, it's not gonna be on App Gallery, but that's where Petal Search comes in. Now, Petal Search is Huawei's search engine, one that's also optimized to pull up safe APKs, and you can see Petal Search results right here. So, if needed, you can install an APK from the results you get, and Huawei does scan it for you to ensure that it's actually safe to use. Now, despite all this, for a while, I personally wasn't very high on using Huawei phones. I mean, I love the hardware aspect of things, of course I did, uh, but you know, doing what I do day to day, I have a set, set of ideas, a set of apps that I do want on my phone. I've been doing this for 10 years now and habits are hard to break, right? But these days I've not really had to change anything when I switch to a Huawei phone. Now this is the phone I'm currently testing and just see the home screen. This is the Mate XS2 that I keep going back to from time to time and see this home screen, it's pretty much the same set of apps and that's possible due to G-Space. G-Space is an emulated environment where you can access some of the very popular Google apps that you otherwise couldn't. It's not perfect, but it's been working very well for me. Uh, I've been able to use the Mate XS2 without having to change my typical usage habits and that's not something I could have said before G-Space was an option. Now here are some apps that I've classified into categories, some that I don't really use, but I still, uh, things that I consider pretty common or popular for that category. Now for communication, bot IM, Telegram, WhatsApp, Messenger, for social media, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, travel, as we saw Google and Petal Maps, for streaming, Netflix, Spotify, Prime Video, SoundCloud, YouTube, now there are caveats, it's not all perfect. Yes, I got all these directly from the app gallery or via pedal search. But for example, with Netflix, you don't get HDR support, but uh, it all works. YouTube, what you see here is a micro app, basically a shortcut to the browser for the mobile page. You could alternatively use it via Gspace or get the more advanced version. Well, you know what I mean. <laughs> and finally, here are some finance apps for UAE. Now with games, I've tried out some of the popular ones all available again via the app gallery and this unfolded aspect ratio is perfect for some games. Now talking about experience, let me cut to my last made access to video. Now here, since the display folds outwards, you only need one display. That means lesser weight and a sleeker phone. The Mate XS2, this is the slimmest and lightest foldable available today. Unfolded, it's just 5.4 millimeters thick, and even folded, it's just 11 millimeters thick, which if you think about, uh, I mean, it's not that bad, right? It's just as thick as most phones are with a case on. Similarly, the weight at 260 grams is pretty much the same weight as some flagship phones with a case. So say when you're using it folded like this, you don't feel like you're compromising on the ease of use. The aspect ratio this way is 19 by nine, and given the thickness and the weight, this feels just like 
pretty much any candy bar form factor phone, just like a regular phone. Also, the sleekness of the phone means a lot of the hardware is present to this one area right here, and that gives you something to grip. Now, if you look at ebook readers, you see a lot of them having this kind of one area where you can hold them. Ergonomics wise, when you have the screen open, the Mate XS2, it's a pleasure to hold and use. It doesn't cause as much wrist fatigue as other foldables out there. Now, because of the outer fold, when it's open, this crease here, it's not as prominent. This is pretty much the least noticeable crease you're gonna see on any foldable today. Even when using it daily, even when touching the display, I barely noticed it. Huawei is calling this the double rotating Falcon wing hinge and their engineers have done a very good job with it. Anyways, coming back to the performance, as you can see, the Mate XS2 can run games well. Uh, some might not be optimized for this aspect ratio, but in that case, you can always fold the screen and get your widescreen gaming on. So overall, I found the app availability pleasantly surprising, remember that? It's, it's actually a lot better than I went in expecting it to be. Is it perfect? Nope, most definitely not. But these days, if I actually find a good device from Huawei that I like and the price happens to be good, software isn't the one that's actually gonna be stopping me from using it. In other words, Huawei's come a long way with HMS. So that, I hope, pretty much answers all the questions I've been getting. Uh, and with that, we are at the end of today's video. Thumbs up, thumbs down, based on whatever you felt about it. If you have any other questions, leave it in the comments below and I will try to get back to you. Uh, also, while you're down there, subscribe if you haven't yet. If you're already subscribed, go ahead, hit that bell icon. And uh, thanks a lot for your time. Thanks for watching. Until next time, my name's Ash. You've been watching C4 Retech. And I'm signing off for now. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye.